But finally, the window has been closed. That the window for filing the presidential nominations has been closed. It started on Monday. There was a break on Tuesday, resumed on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And so far, who do we have here? So let me mention some of the political parties. Obviously, we have MPP and um, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia. We have Kofi Akpalu of the LPG, Christian Kabna Andrews of the Ghana Union Movement. We have Dr. Hassan Ayariga of APC, John Mahama of NDC, Al Haji Mohammed Frimpong of NDP, Ikea Donko of the Ghana Freedom Party, Nana Akusia Frimpoma um, of the um, CPP, Bernard Mona of the PNC, Dr. Daniel Augustus Latte. And you have some independent candidates right here who sum up to 12. Let me just run you through the independent candidates that we have Nana Kwame Bediako, Samo Apia Dankwa, George Chum Berima, Kofi Kranton, Alan Chermatin. Jeanette Asana Nabla, um, Desmond Abrifa, Nana Stevens, Elder Paul Ekon, James Kwisiopon, John Pickby, and Dr. Sam Ankara. And obviously, the female candidates um, that we have, um, I've already mentioned Akia Donko and Nana Kusia from Poma, and Jeanette um, Asana Nabla. But then, this, um, in, in this entirety, it's supposed to be um, 25, but then what we have here is 22. Now, what happens to the other three? So, um, Dr. Ni Amudako, who is an independent ca um, candidate, came after 5 p.m., and obviously, the window had been closed by then. And that is one thing, according to the electoral commission that it is stipulated very clearly. We were not coming. We've been here for some time. No. All right, so this is the. No, you let him announce and then yes. you receive so, it, then you submit it. Yes. yes. Because. These nominations are being submitted after five. So we are not expected to receive nominations after five. The premises of the EC is not where we complete nomination forms. Candidates are expected to complete their nomination forms and uh, file within the stipulated time. And I am repeating, candidates are not expected to come and fill nomination forms the premises. at the premises of the Electoral Commission. So, we are not going to accept it, we will receive it, but we are not going to accept the forms. I am acting on behalf of the chairperson who is the returning officer. So I will submit my report to the chairperson of the electoral commission who happens to be the returning officer. And also Kofi Asanwa of the PPP um, came in later on. He also came in after 5 p.m. And on behalf of the chairperson who is the retaining officer, who receive your nomination and indicates the time that you submitted your nomination. nominations. Thank you. And of course, Dr. Agnes um, Aisha um, came in on time though, but the issue was that she couldn't finish and um, fill in her forms and she was asking the Electoral Commission to see if they could do something about um, her um, filing of the forms. Is the process, I mean, to get all the endorsements from the different districts. And the challenge is that some people don't even know the district that they belong to because the districts are not written on the ID card, the voters card. So most of the people didn't know what district they belong to. They didn't know uh, their polling station names. So it was a bit challenge. That's the reason why you've not been able to file them today. What has the commission been telling you? It's just that they don't have enough time. You know, they have to do the process and I haven't gotten that time. If I should get the time, then I can work hard
you get everything that is required. How much time do you need? That depends on what they give me. Said it's 22 for now. These three, they are question marks. Uh, we don't know what the EC would get to when it comes to the other three. But for now, we have 22 presidential candidates that have filed so far. But that is not the end of it. The EC would have to go through their forms. As they said, there are two committees set up that will go thoroughly through their forms to make sure that everything is intact and give the final verdict. Hopefully next week, uh, we're hoping that we get to know who is on it. We're hoping that by the end of next week, we'll see the presidential candidates for the December 7th elections in Ghana. Reporting for Joy News, I'm Jacqueline Ansema Yeboah.